Uh, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the keying speed on this Kenwood TS890 that I just picked up. In a previous video that I'll link down below, I showed how to measure the keying speed and how the length of the dits or daws relates to the word per minute setting. And I found in that video that my, KX, my KX2 was a little bit off. If I have to set it to, say, 19 words a minute to get 20, my Pentec TR45, I have to set it to 18 words a minute in order to get 20. So I want to see how accurate the setting is on this rig to the actual word per minute being sent. If you've seen that video, or if you watched it from the link down below, you'll learn that the keying speed and the length of a dit or a da are related by a very simple formula. So the, the number 1.2 divided by words per minute gives you the unit length in seconds, uh, or vice versa, 1.2 divided by the unit length in seconds will give you words per minute. So in my case, I'm going to set the radio to 20 words a minute. So 1.2 divided by 20 words a minute says that the unit interval should be 60 milliseconds. So we're going to go measure that. So in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to transmit into a dummy load. So uh, I'm going to make sure the tuner is off and it is. I'm going to switch my uh, antennas over here into a dummy load position so you can see that my received signals just all went away. I found that with this tiny SA Ultra, if I just uh, transmit into a dummy load, there's enough stray RF and leakage out of my coax shields and things like that to pick up pretty easily on this unit. So we'll set up this analyzer to read in zero span and make the measurement of the pulse width right on this analyzer. Okay, so I've set the rig to transmit on 14.030. So we'll set up zero span on the analyzer to be at the same frequency. So we simply touch on the display. If you're not at the top menu, keep hitting uh, back until you are. And if we go to frequency and click on zero span, and I'm going to put in here 14.03 megahertz. So now I've got a 14.3 megahertz zero span. And if I key the radio, I can see some response in there. So we just need to adjust the analyzer to capture the pulses. A 200 millisecond long acquisition should be uh, sufficient. So if I go down the bottom, if we touch on time, I can put in 200 M for milliseconds. So now if I take a look at this, I can actually see the pulses that I'm transmitting. But they're kind of walking around a little bit, so let's set up the analyzer to trigger on those pulses. So if we go here and go back, or let's go to level and then go to trigger. And I'm going to set the trigger level here to be, look like about minus 80, uh, should be a decent trigger level. So let's set that up in here. And I'm going to go to normal. So now it's only going to give me something when I actually have a trigger. So if I hit it now, I can actually see the pulses there in a nice stable way. In fact, now we can throw some markers on here and actually make some measurements. Okay, so we'll bring up the menu go back and back again and go to marker and uh, let's go to modify markers let's first modify marker one by turning off tracking I don't need it to be looking at the peak and uh, if we can kind of move that marker you know, kind of to about the beginning of that pulse we only need to be about 3 dB down really the half power point is a good point to make a measurement so you know just a, a fraction of a division down so right there for marker one is good and let's go back to uh, let's go back, let's go select marker, and her on marker 2. That's already set up to be a delta marker on trace 1, so that's good. So we'll go back and back, and then here, touch on that marker, and then move it with the jog wheel. I should be able to bring that all the way over to the other side of this pulse at about the same position. And work our way down there, just to, they're starting to fall on that edge. And there we go. So it looks like right about there. And if we look at our measurement here, if we can see that in the video, it's 60.2 milliseconds. So that tells me that the setting on the radio at 20 words a minute is going to be basically a 60 millisecond pulse. So the setting is accurate to the words per minute that I asked for. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video to see how to use this uh, Tiny SA Ultra uh, to do zero span measurements and make a timing measurement to validate or measure the keying speed of a radio such as this one here. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again as always for watching and we'll see you next time.